This is Bookworm Adventures 2, another winner from PopCap, the company that's produced some of the most addictive, entertaining games of the last several years, including Peggle, Zuma, Bejeweled, Heavy Weapon. This is like a combination of Scrabble, a fighting game, and Bejeweled. If you like word games and fun, catchy, addictive puzzle games, you'll love this one, Bookworm Adventures Volume 2 where you battle your way through storybooks with Lex the Bookworm fighting enemies, earning power-ups, unlocking mini-games, and it's just a terrific title available from the PopCap website. Let's watch some action as it goes down, going for a headshot with spelling. Sorry guys, I couldn't fit Of War behind that one, or Of War 2, although it was the first thing that came to my mind. How cool would it be if they somehow cross-marketed Bookworm and Gears of War 3? This time Marcus Phoenix needs help with his spelling, which by the looks of him he probably does. I'm just saying you don't need to spell to cut people in half with a chainsaw, but you do need to spell to kick ass at this game. To be clear, it's more than just spelling, it's about knowing your words, because what you're doing is creating words out of the letters in front of you, in any order. It starts to get a bejeweled feel where some letters get locked down with chains, some of them become worthless in terms of attack value, others are charged with attacks like poison, which is a very effective one. When you see something highlighted in purple or pink, that's like a poison letter. You want to use that and it'll, it'll throw some additional damage towards the enemy. Your attacks are very weak if you spell easy words like was or if, and you get extremely powerful attacks with long words. So I'm always trying to make things plural and throwing an S on the end or an ING or something to make the words longer. Like most of their games, the enemies start off easy and then get extremely difficult near the end, so you cannot survive just by using short words alone. You collect these upgrade power-ups and also get some allies throughout the game. One of the power-ups I enjoyed gave you extra bonus points, like extra bonus attack points, for spelling adjectives. The game progresses like that. It's, it's extremely cool if you like these word-based games. If you try to spell a word that's not a real word, it will not let you use it, and the attack button will not highlight. So slang doesn't count. It may look fairly easy at first, and you'd look at the screen and say, Oh, this, this is no problem, I can spell numerous words out of there, like do, read, or, you know, beer. But it gets much more challenging later in the game when you need long words, and your letter selection consists of X's, Y's, J's, and uh, no vowels. Frequently I found myself yelling at the monitor, what do you mean Zardoz is not an actual word? Of course it is. How can I spell R2-D2 if you don't give me any numbers? Here's a good one, I was going for hamburger, but apparently I was short one R. But fortunately I found a solution. Here's one of the mini-games where I'm being timed. I'm pretty good at this game when I have time to actually think about the words, but under pressure, it's a totally different story. I think all I could come up with was if, a, et. That's not a real word. That's Bookworm Adventures 2. If you think it looks fun, it is. I have not played the first one, but I, I guess you can get them both together as well. Let's watch the end of the review as I crush the enemy using, um, some high class words. 